Hey guys, it's Gator, your coach of the Florida Gators, here with our Week 9 battle of the GBA against Dan, aka Drive, coach of the St. Louis Rampardos. Pretty important game here. Well, the rest of the games for this season are going to be really important because all the rest of my games are in the conference. Uh, if you don't know how the playoff system works, it's the top people and top person, top people, top, top person in each division is guaranteed a playoff spot. But then after that, it's actually based on your record. So it can be three people out of one division and one person out of the other that actually make it out of playoffs, which is pretty interesting because our record right now is four and four. And there's a lot of people around this record that I play against. Uh, Dan is one game behind. Uh, Lars right now is four and four, and that's our next week opponent. Uh, Duncan's four and four, and we play him later. And Chimpak, he's in, he's in pretty for now. But I mean, like a win against him could be clutch. So we're going to be needing to get some wins if you want to make sure we get that playoff spot. So uh, this this last this last stretch here is gonna be super duper important. And it starts with Dan. Uh, last time <laughs> we we took a fat L. We got we got dropped on our necks pretty hard. Not gonna lie. Uh, but let's just let's just hop right into the team build. We got this beautiful Ghost in the Shell background, by the way. Shout out to Ghost in the Shell. But um, yeah. So we got the Heatran. Last time we got crushed. I yeah. I got I got demolished last time. So I think it's pretty good against this team. I uh, get some different mons this time. Mainly the Scizor, which is why I really like the Heatran. And uh, I brought enough speed on this to outspeed a jolly offensive scissor because like if I don't then he can like have offensive SD superpower or something like that catch my heat train off guard. So we got that rocks standard lava plume to make sure I can actually hit the damn scissor uh, and the Delmai stuff like that flash cannons good for clef to rack and last move is roar. Uh, I put roar because I'm really scared of hacksters. I'm so scared to where I'd rather sack my heat train uh, just to uh, earthquake then to let him get a dragon dance up. I'm, if he dragon dances up on this team, it could be like GG. I don't have the Whimsicott with Encore or anything like that on this team, so. And Haxxers does have that Mold Breaker for Pikumuku. So yeah, we, we got Roar. Everything on this team can do something against the Haxxers. Next. Yeah, yeah. No, no more 7 Edge A Drive today. No, 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 no. Go, go ahead and click Stone Edge on this. Go ahead, bro. You want to click Stone Edge? Go ahead and click it. We got max HP and defense on the Dublay. I'm not playing games with that Terrakian anymore. I, I learned my lesson. You got Rest, Sleep, Talk. Because I'm just trying to live. I'm trying to live. I need this to take attacks from the Tarak, from, from everything. The Lysopods, Scizor, it, it can take attacks. Even from Haxorus, uh, it can take attacks if it's not a Dragon Dance variant or like Choice Bandit. Then got Toxic, so we can like do something against like the Lysopod or whatever the case may be, Delmise. And then Gyro Ball, because Iron Head doesn't 2 KO Haxorus, whereas Gyro Ball does if he's neutral and then goes to plus one. Gyro Ball will 2 KO uh, in that situation. Next, we also have another max HP, max defense mom, Pikumuku. Uh, pretty interesting set. Uh, Curse Baton Pass. We have a lot of physical attackers. Could be nice. Uh, went with Mental Orb instead of Leftovers because he has a lot of Taunt users. Uh, last time he didn't bring Taunt, like on his Glide Score, for example. But last time I was at a Heracross, so I understood why he brought, uh, I think it was Acrobatics. So this time I'm running Mental Orb. I don't like using this set if I don't have the Herb because uh, he has Taunt options on Tarak, Glide Score, Haxorus. I think even the Lysopod, just, just too many, too many taunters. So we got the herb. We also got the herb on this boy. So we got we got the herb duo here. Now, if I can baton pass into this, uh, the white herb will activate. So I'll lose the uh, speed drop, and I'll actually just get the unburden immediately. So we can start doing some damage. Uh, standard set uh, with the first three moves. Uh, this time we have superpower because if I can't do the curse shenanigans, at least I can activate the white herb on my own. Uh, with the superpower, so we got that. Uh, next, we got a Jiller's B. Um, last time, Diggers B did nothing because I hit Ice Punch on his Arachion, which ended up like just the whole game just got blown away after that. This time, I have agility. Uh, after agility, I can outspeed like everything, and I still do a bunch of damage. Like, I can even curse into this, and then agility get plus one speed, which could still also be nice. It can just do a lot of damage. We have Ice Punch instead of Fire Punch because I want to hit the Glide Score. Uh, compared to the Scizor, I don't think Scizor can do too much back, and Earthquake does a whole lot to the Scizor anyway. And last but not least, we got the Lottie. Uh, this time, we're going with the Darkinium Z Memento, because I do have these setup options with Halucha, uh, Diggsby, even Pikamuku. And Lottie's a good check to Victini, Toxapex, stuff like that. Uh, Dragon Pulse, Psychic, HP Fire for that Scizor. Uh, yeah, as a team, hopefully we can pull out a W this time and not get dropped on our neck. But yeah, let's hop right into the battle. 
All right, so it's time for our week nine match against Dan, AKA Drive. Like I said, pretty important match as far as like making the playoffs go. Uh, so we're gonna come out swinging. Uh, last time he came out swinging, like, seven edge, eight drive, Lord God. I, mean, I played like, you know, played like a monkey. But let the battle begin. Let's see what he brought. Do I have everything open? Yep. Oh, no, I don't. Don't have the calc open. Uh, calc. Okay. He brought the freaking X cloud. <sighs> Alright. Well, um. And he brought Clef. So if Clef's unaware, this is a little bit problematic. Uh, Diggers B can do a lot. Okay. He actually mixed it up a lot from what I thought he was going to bring. Well, oh. Why was I putting my own team down? Okay. To rack. No wonder he makes it up so much because I was writing down like my team. Like, he didn't even have those Pokemon. Uh, Tarak, Sis, Clev, Victini, Golisopod, and freaking Boomber's Man. Okay. Uh, I need to get rid of that Clefable. I need to get rid of it. He doesn't bring Gliscor or Haxor, so I thought he was going to bring both. He also didn't bring Delmize, which is kind of nice. But okay. Um, where is Stealth Rocks? Tarak or Clefable is his Stealth Rock. And all honestly, I want to leave with just diggers being click a button. <laughs> um, he trans also saw a lead against most of those Pokemon. He trans fine. He trans fine here. If he leads like Golisopod, I have Pikamuku and uh, the Blade. So let's leave it. He trans. See what we can do. Uh, that Clefable, if it's unaware, is going to be pretty annoying. It will be annoying. Also, the Scizor is just super annoying, because I don't know if it's like going to be Scarf Scizor or just like really bulky with Pursuit. Either one's pretty good against my Lottie. I need to do the Pukumuku thing onto Diggersby this game, most likely. Debra is the Clefable. Okay. So he just wants to get Rocks up ASAP because they're pretty good against my team. Uh, but same thing for his team, they're pretty good against his team. I don't even know what he's gonna do against Clefable, against my Heatran. I mean, I should just click Stealth Rock. Part of me wants to click Flash Cannon immediately. I did say if I weaken this, Halucha does have a much easier time if I weaken this. Would he let me weaken this? I mean, Stealth Rock, I can weaken it that way. I can figure out if it's Magic Guard or Unaware. Because if it's not, uh,. If it's not unaware, Halucha can still do damage to it. And Stealth Rock help a lot against his Victini and Golisopod. He might not even click Stealth Rock here. I'm going to click it though. He might not click it, uh, but he also could. But I'm definitely going to click it because it helps too much against the Victini and the Golisopod. And even the Scizor. So, I guess he goes for a Focus Blast. And we dodge. There we go. There's no more 7 edge A drive. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Thank goodness. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. This is a Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Pokemon. Uh, so I get rocks up for free. That's that what we call free rocks. He just like wastes the whole turn because it missed. Uh, he does have Focus Blast. So I don't know if he's a Life Orb variant. I want to see how much that does right off the bat. Uh, I do have like max HP on this thing. So. Oh, wait. Where's my heat train set? Oh, there it is. Which means he might be Magic Guard then if he's Life Orb. Uh, maybe he's trying to weaken this because he has a physical Victini. But this is my Clefable answer anyway. Is there, is there a Life Orb set on here? I don't think you know. Let's say if he's Life Orb, Max Special Attack or some shit. I have no fucking idea what he could be on this. And he fires off. Would that even one-shot me? Like, this is a Heatran. It shouldn't even one-shot me. I'm just going to Flash Cannon now. And he has to hit another one if he wants to go for it. Or he can mix it up and go for Stealth Rock or something. Oh yeah, that's offensive out the ass. <laughs> it, it, revenge. Like, I mean, this is whatever, dude. Like, it's Focus Blast. Like, I, hate, I hate that move. I'm sure A-Drive really hates that move right now. I mean, what kind of, it's Pokemon, dude. It's Pokemon. 
he wants to use focus blast dude like all right I, I can understand that too especially he has like a victini that doesn't handle the heat trend that well or he might have focus blast on the victini too i think he brought that last time uh but that is super offensive like no hp which means it should be in range of lava plume so i'm just gonna click lava plume like yeah, it should just it should just be over for this uh for this quick label here. There's no way it should take any more hits. Yeah. Um I don't know. It seems like with like all of A Drive's games, it's either it's just super it's just never just there's never no hacks. There's always some sort of hack. But maybe that's just for every Pokemon game and we just I don't know. I mean some games in GBA for me there's like very little very little hacks. But I guess there's I don't know. Whatever dude. I mean my heat trend is alive at full HB. Nothing happened to it. Oh my, it's here. It's here. It's here. It's... It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. What's he gonna do? I have the blade in the back. This is A-Drive. I don't care. If I'm going into the blade. Um, There's not much. It actually checks on his team besides this Terrakion. So I don't care if he goes for Earthquake here. Even if he's banded, I don't think he 2 it KOs. I'm gonna run the Calc though. Because I'm max defense. Because, tr trust me, I, I learned my lesson from last time. Uh, he's not going to click Stone Edge on me over and over again. I made a huge mistake last time not bringing the Blade. Earthquake seems like a decent play. Out of he also could be like SD. Because uh, this is Zemon too. He could have a Tectonic Rage. Level 50. Earthquake shouldn't 2 AKO me at all. The Blade useful for It's kind of useful for some other stuff. I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna earthquake, but just think I, like I don't want to go Pukumuku and get hit with a bandit close combat. I'm gonna make the safe switch just because this the blade is for the Tarak and like Haxorus, and I don't see a Haxorus, which means I can just throw it in. So no matter what attack he goes for here, it should be okay. So we're gonna see this is Adamant Bandit again. It should do like 45% or something. He's Adamant Bandit. That is not Adamant Bandit. That is okay. So he brought a different Terrakion on this time. As you see, that Earthquake literally does nothing. Like, even if it's super effective, it does nothing. Is that Jolly Band? No. How much HP did I lose? 50? He's not banded at all. So he is... He, that could have been a max roll with Jolly, just like Scarf or something. Or like Adamant Scarf would fit in the roll. It would be like a mid roll if it was Adamant Scarf. So I don't actually know the item on this, it's just some random item. I want to make a switch here. Hmm. You can go Victini or Scizor. Victini or Scizor. I feel kind of safe going into Pukumuku here or just firing off a Toxic. I feel... uh. I think I'm okay firing off a Toxic or something. <laughs> then again, because like his Scizor could defog. I don't necessarily want him to click defog. Now, this is actually kind of a tough turn. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he wants to do with this. I can go Lottie. I'm gonna go on a Lottie. He stayed in. Did he click Earthquake again? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Not sure what he clicked. Don't tell me that's actually Tectonic Rage. What is that? Which one is that? Don't tell me I just got one shot by like Continental Crunch or some shit, dude. What is that? Wh which one is that? Woo! <laughs> okay, baby, there we go. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that, that was a possibility because we didn't know the item from it. Well, we know now. Uh, so track has no item. I think that's how it works. I don't know if he can actually use that again. I'm not familiar with the Z move when it like doesn't work. Um, I'm just gonna put no item. I actually don't know. But at this point, I'm not gonna mess around with this. Last time I messed around with this thing, like I could click Hidden Power Fire here, but I messed around way too much with this thing last time. So I'm clicking the super effective move that hits the Terrakion. Um, he could go into Scizor and it could be Scarf. He could also have Pursuit. I can try and double. No, this is my Lottie else is my Lottie is in. I should attack. He's gonna psychic. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna suck it. He is gonna withdraw, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not playing around with freaking Dragon at all. Yeah, it goes hard stays. Um, I should be able to tell from psychic damage if he's offensive or not. The fact that he doesn't have hazard removal on anything else makes me think this is his hazard. That did a lot. He's offensive for sure. Is he scarf offensive or SD offensive though? That's the question because. I think in this game against Lars, who has a lot of Oss, he was Scarf. But on his team, he doesn't have hazard removal. I'm not sure. And I, I think he cares about hazard removal with that team. He has a Victini and Golisopod. But, like, he can Pursuit me as well. 12. He might be max HP. Let me take out no, if he's no HP. It's, it's hard. It's too hard to tell. It's actually too hard to tell. Um, I can't. It looked like it did 20 something percent. And like Psychic, if he's no HP, does 20 to 30 percent. But if he's max, it can still do like 25 percent. Uh, I still think he's more offensive. I could go into Heatran. Like I have HP Fire, but I'm, I'm thinking he's Scarf. I, I'm not sure if he would be though. If he's Scarf, he knocks me out. I need this to potentially check the Kini. But if he pursues me, he knocks me out. This is this is this is this is great. I'm gonna go into Heatran. I'm gonna make the play in Heatran. I might get pursued here. I don't get pursued, which is nice. That's nice. Uh will we see a U-turn? He makes a double. So he's scouting for HP fire, which means he's probably he's not scarf then. In the Guzma. We see leftovers? We don't see leftovers. Last time you brought a salt vest. Um, my switch into this is either Pikumuku or the the blade. I'm thinking Pikumuku is fine. Yeah. I don't know what his plan to do is against Pikumuku. He probably goes hard X plot on Pikumuku. I don't, I don't have anything else necessary to switch into this. Like, I could go to Blade. Um, no, I think there's a good chance to do something with the Pikamuku. I do have to watch out. Um, I think Golisopod has access to Taunt. I think it does. So he might have Taunt on this thing. He's going to fire off a Liquidation. Right, we'll see how much this does. Doesn't do too much. Uh, this could have Taunt, which would suck. Um, I'm just gonna do my play. If he has taunt, like, good on you. But I see an opportunity here. I think he's gonna go hard X-Blood. I'm gonna calc the X-Blood damage, because if he can one-shot me, that's that's bad. X-Blood. Oh god, that that is really close. It can. He could one-shot me with it. He might also stay in, though, because he knows I just clicked the taunt. I'm not sure, actually. It's a roll for him to one-shot me if he specs X-Blood. I'm going to click Kurt. I'm going to click it anyway. I have a heat train in the back. If he goes hard X-Blood, I might switch. Let's we'll see what he goes to. Is that Victini? Victini. So he goes hard Victini. And it's on a balloon. We're gonna get that curse up though. I wanna count thunder from this thing. I don't think it should knock me out. Uh, last time he brought like full on special attack Victini. Go thunder. See how much a thunder does. I'm not even sure if he's um special. He's not life orb. Modest thunder, there's no chance it kills me. So I'm baton pass now. Question is, what do I baton pass into with minus one speed? I mean, I can go halucha, but I'm not sure if I would kill that. 
with just plus one. My item would be gone. There's a chance. There's actually a chance I could kill that plus one. I can't. Can I go diggers be? I need. I need to run. I need to run some cows, dude. I need to run some cows. I need to see what I can go into. Cause this thing is strong. Can't really go diggers be either. Where my stylus? So this is actually a little annoying. I think I want a hard switch. This isn't the time to do it. I need to hard switch. Actually, I don't know what he's gonna click. I think I need a hard switch in the lobby. He might U-turn though. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Halucha has a really no. I'm I'm switching. I'm switching. Halucha has such a low chance of killing it. I don't I don't like it. I don't like the roll is like 64 to 76 percent. He's at 75, and this is assuming he has no bulk. Yeah, yeah. I figured he needs electric attack on this, or like grass knot or something, just because I have the two electric types. He gets the para. I mean, I did I did dodge the bogus blast, so. Yeah, I need him to take another round of Stealth Rock before I feel comfortable doing that. He could U-turn here. He could do a lot of things. Um, I think I have to stay in. And just attack again. Yeah, probably. I could try and Z-Memento now, but I don't see why. I don't necessarily need to do that. Well, does the Halucha just win? Actually, yeah, I might, the Halucha looks like it might just win if I just click Zima Mento now. <laughs> How much is minus two thunder due to the Halucha? Uh, we'll see though. Right, it could do half and he could paralyze me. I'm gonna try and do it. I think he's gonna U-turn or something. I'm not sure what he can do. It might be too early to do this. When will I get an opportunity to do this though? Because I'm paralyzed now. I don't get too many opportunities to actually do this. I'm just gonna click it just because I can. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna click it. Here comes a U-turn. Uh, so if I don't get paralyzed, I can... Oh, that was actually a crit, but... If I don't get paralyzed, I mean, I'm going out. I'm going out. And depending on what he actually brings in here, could be good for us. Did he EV this to where it doesn't get popped out after two self dock? Oh, he did. If I don't get paralyzed here, this is huge. I think I can set up with Halucha at this point. I don't think... I don't think Elias Paw can do anything to the Lucha. I don't think it can. So I'm being honest here. I don't think his Goliath Paw and Clefable's gone. I don't think his Goliath Paw can do anything to Halucha at minus two attack. Uh, let's see. If he's max attack adamant, minus two. And my Hooch is in. He goes for liquidation. She only do like 30%. And if I just Swords Dance up. Um, I haven't seen a Scarfmon yet, if that matters. I can't actually substitute on it. Either way, I still have to go in, into uh, Halucha here. I can't substitute on it. It does too much damage. So if it's x Blob Scarf, they can revenge kill me. Unless I can superpower. I need like plus four to quick superpower though. I'm gonna SD up. Yeah, I need plus four to click superpower here. Hmm. 
If he goes hard X Blot, it's Scarf. Does Scarf X Blot outspeed Halucha? Probably with my with my investment. Probably just naturally actually. It's actually actually no, hold on, let me see. This is a time where actually Citrus Berry would be better, but just because of the Pukumuka thing, it's not gonna be happening. Should only do like 30%. Yeah. So I can't actually click sub, unfortunately. And superpower at plus two is not gonna knock this out. Acro will kill it. And if it's x is Scarf, um, let's see here. Say so Modest Scarf. He'll actually outspeed me barely with my speed investment. If he's Modest Scarf, if he's Timid Scarf. I mean, it doesn't matter at that point. He's definitely all speeding. I think my plays just click acrobatics against his team. I mean, I could sub to see if he switches, but I might have to set up with Halucha again. Like, I, I, my white hair's not getting popped here, so I might be able to do the curse thing later. Uh, how much does Victini take from plus two with no item? It's another like if you superpower, but actually could probably knock it out. I'm just gonna be acrobatics then. Okay, super effective move on this. Oh really? I was not expecting that. Wow. Uh, I was not expecting him to aqua jet. Okay. I, I guess she could have subbed there. Okay. Is that am I in range of BP or something? Is he banned this is one? Um Well if he's oh yeah, if he's banned it, I'm gonna die. If he's banned it, I would have died anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was I was dead either way if he was banned after liquidation damage. Yeah, banded does like 70%. Scissor is strong. Um, if he's not banned, and just adamant, just offensive, he can do like half. So that's, I'm actually in that range of half. Well, I need to stop making that noise in my chair. Uh, we knock out his Glycopod though, it's pretty big. Yeah, this is Scarf. Like, there's no way you bring this out unless it's Scarf. I'm switching. Um, I mean, Heatran's always a safe bet, I feel like. He could focus blast it. Do I let this go down in case he focus blast? Hmm. Why, would he focus blast my Halucha? Can I win without Halucha? Honestly, it'd be really tough, because this is my only Pokemon left to outspeed the Terrakion. Oh, Lottie did it anymore since it got paralyzed. I mean, I do have the Blade as well. I really need Heatran alive. So what if he Focus Blast? I can go back into Halucha and click Super Power. I don't know if he would Focus Blast. He might do it. I mean... He already missed two as well, so... I don't think he's gonna do it because he missed two. Uh, it's actually... Because, like, he might be saying, I need to hit a focus blast. He might he might just do the play. I'm gonna switch, though. He might just do the play, though. He might do the play. Is he gonna do the play? He didn't do the play. Okay, he just, he just boom bursted. This is where we get loud into the mic, but he did match, so I won't. Oh, there's, like, 50. I think that means it's Scarf. Probably Modest Scarf. We can find out here. Pretty sure Spectre has done way more. Is it a timid? No. Let's put modest in choice scarf. Yeah. It looks like he's modest choice scarf. I can just roar if I want to. Because I have Stealth Rock up. I don't think he's going to stay in. I mean, he could, but like, is there really a point? 
I don't even know what he would go into to be honest. I could flash cannon because it hits a Victini anyway. Thing is, my main Victini switching is gone. But if he just boom bursts again and then I just take damage, it's like, what the heck. He might boom burst again. If I can put Victini to half, and then flash cannon it, that'd be nice. Um, If he stays in, I... If I roar him to Tarak, I have a switch in. If I roar him to Victini, it's a little bit problematic. I'm just going to click roar, though. Just on the off chance he does switch. Okay. So he gets some Stealth Rock. Okay, that's that's really good. We got a lot of Stealth Rock damage off on this. Um, Actually, doesn't he have... No, he would have Scrappy. No, never mind. Never mind. Because, like, doesn't x learn Soundproof as ability or something? But, like, there's no reason. Well, uh, we get the Tarak. Now, I have the Blade. And he has no more Tectonic Rage, so I'm just going. <laughs> I'm going into that the blade, no matter no matter what. I don't care if he doubles. Big Team would be at 25%. I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, I have to go into the blade, like I 100% have to go into this. I need to watch out for the X Cloud that it's scarfed. Um, if he gets my Heatran, I need my Heatran alive for the rest of the game, because then he can just click Boom Burst, and that's really problematic. He should know I'm switching too. He'll probably go Victini here, honestly. I can't risk Heatran. What would I risk if I think he's going to go Victini? It'd be my Halucha. But if I lose Halucha, I guess I can go back into the Blade to handle this. That's, is that a risk I'm willing to make? I think there's a high chance he goes Victini here. One, expecting the Blade. Or two, like it matches up well against the Heatran enough. I'm, I'm not sure what he's thinking, actually. Pikumuku is probably safe as well, just because we know it's not banded. I think Pikumuku is my mid-ground play. If he does go Victini, I'd take a Thunder to the mouth. I don't actually need Pikumuku, Pikumuku to curse though, so I can Baton pass out with it. I like the Pikumuku play. Alright, so he does stay in. I think Pikumuku is safe. It's max defense, so I think it's a safe bet here. And I have unaware. Here comes here comes the, here's the, the man of the seven edges. Is that a crit? Oh my god, dude. Okay. We're getting out. I'm saying this is fodder for x <laughs> That The man of seven edges himself has, has, has struck again. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, Adrian. Alright, alright, alright. No problem. No problem. Uh, How much of that? So this, this next one should knock me out by that crit damage, right? This next one's going to blow me away. Why did I do so much? I'm max defense. It still does that much damage. All right, I'm going to the blade either way. Like, it's my play. Uh, Earthquake should not be able to do any damage. I don't think Earthquake could kill the Pikamuku from that range. So, yeah. All right, here comes number two. You gonna crit this one? Oh, not, not quite. Okay. Um, I think Jar Balls is a safe play. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, Stealth Rocks are up. Why can't I click Jaro? I don't get to a KO by Earthquake from this range, I believe. I need to make sure. I don't get to a KO by Earthquake from this range. Otherwise, I actually need to rest. Like, right now. If he gets max... Okay, I, I can get to a KO by this, from this range. He can actually do a KO me from this range. Okay. Okay. And I was, also, I don't know if... I'm pretty sure the Z-move is done. I'm gonna, I'm, I really hope that Z-move is done. I kind of want to click Rest here. Uh, Gyro Ball would one-shot this if he stays in. I need... Uh, how much time do I have left? Does Victini die to a Gyro Ball? Hell no, wait. No. There's like a very low chance. I'm gonna click rest. I'm gonna rest up. Victini, if Victini died to gyro, then I would gyro ball, but it doesn't. So we're gonna we're gonna rest up here. He still has his balloon, which is fine. Yeah, nice and healthy. Cause I'm not I'm not messing around with this Terrakion. 
to get the pull. Uh, I'm just going to switch and sack the Pikamuku. I don't want him to Focus Blast my Heatran. I 100% need the Heatran. I don't actually need to Curse Pass anymore. Yeah, there's no... I don't actually need Curse Passing for anything. So my play is to sack this Pikamuku here. I don't have a, I don't have a need for it. <laughs> he actually missed the thunder. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna click baton pass, but I'm just gonna sack this. Yeah, uh, he's he's missed a fair share of moves. He clicks focus blast. Oh, he want he wanted to get that focus blast in. He wanted to get that focus blast in. Uh, and that does knock me out. Okay. Uh, but now I just go halucha again. I mean, I have to. It's the only thing that's fast. Acrobatic should kill this, right? I don't care if my item's still there. I'm not... I could sub up on Thunder. It's less accurate than the thing, but he has Bullet Punch in the back anyway. But, I mean, if he misses, that's like... Almost GG. Potentially. Because if he... I, I don't think I need to SD. Oh, what? This is a roll? Really? What about Superpower? Why Superpower... 51, okay. So Superpower has a higher chance to kill, and they're both rolls. What? Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, did I fuck this up? Wow, I didn't know I was going to do that little. Oh, really? That's it? And you can have bulk on this as well. I have to bring it in and click superpower. It's the one that does more damage. Yeah, I have to click superpower. Oh man. I could sub up once. He could miss. <laughs> He's missed enough, but like he could miss. Um This dies to like most bullet punches anyway from this range. I think I need to sub up. Yeah, I actually think I need to sub up here. Wow, dude. That literally does nothing. I'm click substitute. I mean, I don't see why he would switch, but he might. I kind of need a quick substitute here. That superpower does nothing. We're gonna sub up. Deja vu. Blue flare. It connects. Yeah, um, if this if I if this Alucha actually fucks me over twice here, this is really, 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 really bad. Really bad. I'm gonna go for that superpower. And if because it does more than acrobatics. A little bit, like 1% more. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, shit. No. I didn't know it was going to do so little. I should have calced ahead of time. I just assumed because it's a big... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It, it's, it's happening. It's happening all over again. I fucked up, everybody. That's, that's it. That's it. I lose. I lose. I don't. I need him to miss focus, but I just lose. I lost. I lost the game. He clicks focus blast with his scarf X spot. I lose. I didn't know it was gonna do so little. I'm just gonna be honest. I did not know that it was, I should have calculated. ahead. I thought it would do like 25 min or something. It does 23 to 27 percent. If he's no HP investment, I fucked that up so bad. Wow. I need Heatran. Wow, no, I think I just lose no matter what. Holy shit, I lose, dude. Holy shit, that's that's it. That's the game. He can miss. I mean, he can still miss with this Victini here, but, like, he has Victory Star, too. And he's missed so many moves. Oh, man. I fucked up. There's nothing else I can say except I fucked up. Like, I did not know that was such a low 
such slow damage, dude. That's literally negative damage. Wow. Maybe I should have cursed past the first time. Damn, dude. If he hits, if he hits this, okay, he goes for blue flare and he hits. It's gonna do so much. It's gonna do so much damage. Oh my god. And he has bullet punch in the back, so you can just click bullet punch with the scissor. Oh man, I just lose the X-Bob now. Wow. Wow, dude. I fucked that up. Wow, I didn't know it was gonna do so little. If I had a jump kick, um, it was like almost guaranteed. Well, it depends how much HP he had, but wow. That did... <sighs> same, same scenario, like, different week, dude, like... Halucha just doesn't do enough damage to this shit. I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to do that little damage. That was such pathetic damage. He obviously has bullet punch on this. I mean, it doesn't matter. He just wins with um, Scarf x Cloud. I can go into Heatran. Like, I, don't, I don't think it matters at this point. I should just, like, do I even think that he's gonna do anything anymore? Like, he's gonna get outstood by Tarak and x Cloud and the Scizor has Bullet Punch. I'm just gonna stay in, and maybe he doesn't have Bullet Punch or something. I don't have another. Yeah, this is over. Wow, this is over. That turned downhill real fast. I felt like, it's literally the same, like, I felt like I was doing well in the beginning, and then some, some shit happened, and then it's just, like, all downhill from there. Wow. And it's like, I got, I got lucky, too. Like, he missed Focus Blast on my E-Jam multiple times that's crazy that is crazy um i don't i don't know i didn't know i should have calculated ahead of time I, I just didn't know it was gonna do so little that hooch is weak he doesn't have bullet punch is he defensive oh he doesn't have bullet punch Dude, what? Where's your bullet punch, dude? Oh my god. It, do we win? Oh, does x die to a, a frustration? This this is taking rocks. This is taking rocks. No, dude, where's his bullet punch? Where's his bullet punch? What? Hold, I'm not calking. I, I didn't calc the shit with the halucha. I'm not calking this. I'm clicking frustration. I hope this thing is at zero happiness. I should outspeed. I went for agility at plus two speed here. I have, I'm a silk scarf Diggersby, dude. I, I outspeed him. Just, just be zero speed. Diggersby, you hate me. You freaking hate me, dude. I don't, I don't understand what just happened at all. I have no idea what just happened. And his last Pokemon is Tarak. I'll be actually hate <laughs> My chair, I hate this fucking chair, dude. But holy shit, I don't. Oh my God. I thought it was going to be the same exact situation as last time, dude. The same exact situation where I freaking... Oh my god, where I, where I freaking throw the game because my Haluch is garbage. Oh, I got so lucky too. My Heatran should be dead. My Heatran should be dead. I'm bad. I'm bad at this game. I'm bad at this game. But it's Pokemon, so if I'm lucky, luck, luck greater than skill, dude. Like, holy shit. I don't, I don't know what to say to you. I should... Damn. 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 I guess GG, dude. Like, holy shit. Like, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words here. That, that's gonna be it though uh we somehow managed to win that game dude i don't know what just happened but we we came through with the diggers being the end like oh my god no bullet punch the halucha superpower doing no damage oh my i'm so glad i clicked agility too because i thought the whole game was over i almost just clicked earthquake and just like screw it like it didn't matter but yeah that's 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 gonna be it uh we're able to take this win it's a very important win uh luck was on our side today and uh, yeah, uh, it's Gator, and I'll see you guys next time.